Hello friends. Today, I am going to explain a psychological horror thriller movie. Possum was released in 2018. Its director is Matthew Holness. This movie got a 5.8 out of 10 IMDb rating. So watch the video till the last. If you are new to the channel, then definitely subscribe to the channel. At the movie's beginning, we are shown a man named Philip who happens to be a puppeteer. Philip always keeps his puppet in a leather duffel bag. And for some reason, Philip is forced to return to his childhood home in Norfolk. Now when Philip is on the train, he sees a boy. Seeing him, Philip remembers his childhood. And then after getting off the train, Philip reaches his house. His childhood home is in disrepair due to a past fire. Philip's parents were killed in that fire. After going inside the house, Philip goes to his room. He recovers a picture book about Possum that he wrote and illustrated as a young boy. The book depicts Possum's origins and describes how it creeps upon unsuspecting, orphan children intent on devouring them in their beds. And he looks half human and half spider. Philip then goes outside the house where he pulls out a puppet that looks like the same Possum monster out of his duffel bag. And he throws it inside a drum. But the next day when Philip wakes up, that puppet is kept near him. Seeing this Philip gets scared. Now that day Philip frequently approaches a closed room in the house. But then a man named Maurice comes there and he stops Philip from going inside. Maurice was also living in the same house as Philip and Philip did not like Maurice at all. Maurice is actually Philip's decrepit uncle and Philip has been raised by him. Now Maurice and Philip are talking to each other. So we see that Maurice is taunting Philip on the matter. And he is manipulating it and that's why Philip leaves from there. Philip takes that puppet out of the house where he puts that puppet in an empty place. And we learn that Philip has been trying to get rid of that puppet for a long time. Sometimes that puppet comes back to Philip on its own. Up in the night, Philip learns in the news that someone has kidnapped a little boy named Michael. And Philip feels that the possum monster is behind all this. But the next day when Philip wakes up from sleep, so the possum monster had come to Philip again. And then once again Philip put the possum puppet in the bag and abandoned it in the woods. Then he throws the bag of puppets on some tree branches. And when Philip opens the chain of that bag, only then he makes a sound. And here the scene directly shifts to another day, where Philip throws that monster into a river. Now after throwing the monster into the river, Philip runs away. But suddenly his head starts feeling very severe and Philip falls to the ground. And we learn that Possum doesn't want to part with Monster Philip. Philip goes to get back the monster he can't find in the river. And on searching, Philip found the monster lying in the mud. Philip takes that monster and hangs it on the wall of his room. But the next day when Philip wakes up, the monster is lying on Philip's bed. And the monster is staring at Philip. Now that day Maurice again monoplates Philip with his words and makes him realize how much his childhood was useless. After which Philip thinks of going inside the same closed room but he does not go inside it. After this Philip again goes out of the house with that puppet. And while exploring today, he reaches the hiding place of his childhood and he starts remembering his entire childhood. Philip has gone to the empty place and taken out that monster puppet from the bag. And he starts staring at him, but that puppet does not do any action. And Philip gets very confused thinking about whether this puppet was alive or not. And then in anger, Philip beats that puppet very badly and breaks it. And then he puts the puppet in his bag and throws it inside a creek with some stones. So that puppet could not come back to him. Now after going home, Philip learns from a newspaper that the boy has been kidnapped. He was actually the same boy that Philip had seen on the train. And then Philip starts hearing Morris's voice saying some things about the possum monster. Philip goes to Maurice and sees Maurice reading his childhood picture book. And Philip snatches his book from Maurice. And Maurice starts manipulating Philip again. Now that night Philip reads his childhood drawing book. And we get to know about the origin of the possum monster. And actually, Philip created the possum monster. Philip wrote about possum when his house caught fire and his parents were killed. And according to Philip, the smoke that came out from inside Philip's house while burning. A possum monster came out from inside the same smoke. All the children are afraid of the eyes of the possum monster and that monster is very terrible. He runs very fast and he kills children who are orphans. Actually, this whole story is the imagination of Philip's depressed mind. Now the next day, surprisingly, possum monster doesn't come back to Philip. And on that day, Philip spends his time happily. And we also get to see a photo of Philip's parents. But when Philip reaches back to his house, he finds the possum monster again in his room. Philip begins to stare at possum and is deeply confused by the monster. And Philip takes possum to the courtyard of the house where Maurice is lighting a fire. Now Maurice starts making fun of Philip about possum's puppet too and then Philip burns possum in the fire. Now as soon as the possum monster gets burnt, Philip starts crying. 
like he has buried some of his biggest secrets forever by burning the possum monster. Now after some time on TV, Philip gets another news about Michael. They learn that Michael's friends have given a description of a man to the police. And that description is exactly the same as Philip's. This means the police are now suspecting Philip of Michael's kidnapping. And then that whole day Philip roams around escaping from the police. At night, Maurice invites Philip to visit him. And in this scene, we come to know that Maurice is going out of the house for a few days. And from here the scene goes to the day on which Philip went to the woods with Possum. And he threw the bag on some branches. Now when Philip opens the chain of that bag, the Possum monster comes alive and comes out of that bag. And he approaches to kill Philip. Now Philip runs away from Possum, but the Possum monster does not give up on Philip. And then, in the end, Philip faints after being afraid of Possum. Now after fainting, Philip has a dream. And even in dreams, Possum monster tortures Philip. And when Philip wakes up, he finds himself inside his house. Then what happened after that we have seen in the movie? From here, the scene goes to the present. Now Maurice was not in the house, so Philip goes inside the same locked room. And this is the same room inside which Philip's parents died. Philip finds a broken bed inside the room and a glass bottle containing some human teeth. As he examines curious items within, he is suddenly attacked by a masked man in the shadows. The man removes his mask and reveals he is Maurice. Now Maurice starts torturing Philip, and he also abuses him sexually. And in this scene, it is revealed that after the death of Philip's parents, Maurice got custody of Philip, but Maurice used to rape Philip in his childhood. Because of this, Philip had gone into depression, and his depression did not end to date. And not only that which was made by Possum Monster Philip, that monster also simply reminded Philip of what Maurice had done to him as a child. And that's why Philip was afraid of the Possum Monster, but he couldn't be different from the Possum Monster, because it was such a secret of his life that only he knew. And he didn't want to tell this to anyone else. Now when Maurice is beating Philip, Philip hears some sounds from inside a chest, and he understands that Maurice has also kidnapped Michael. And Maurice is doing the wrong thing with Michael too. Then Philip shows courage and fights with Maurice. He overpowers Maurice and breaks his neck. Philip unlocks the chest, and a terrified Michael scrambles away from inside it. After this, in the last scene of the movie, we see Philip sitting in the courtyard, which is very depressing. And Philip holds the face of the possum monster and the movie ends here. I hope you all have understood this movie and liked this video. In this movie, we are shown the story of a depressed boy which gives birth to a monster because of its past. And he keeps fighting with that throughout the movie. And in the end, we also get to know about the past of that boy. And the one who was guilty in the past is killed in the end. And the movie ends. If you like the explanation, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.